Hello, CJ Floyd here, your 2024 president, Lincoln County Board of Realtors, coming to you with my July 2024 update. Please forgive me uh, for missing the June update. I've had a lot of different things, good and bad, going on, uh, but I did need to get this out to you guys. Uh, if you've been on the MLS at all, any time in the last, I don't know how many months, you are or should be aware of our practice changes that take effect August 1st, um, mainly with Canopy and our NC Realtors forms, working with buyers and sellers alike. Uh, this Thursday, August 1st, starts the removal of any and all compensation fields, remarks, anything from MLS listings. You cannot list anything about compensation. You cannot upload documents about compensation. No talk of compensation in the MLS. Um, there are ways to go around this in legal ways uh, via your website, but I believe most people will just pick up the phone, send a text message to each other and, and figure it out that way. Um, comp, uh, Forms 220 and 715 are gonna be your friend. So get familiarize yourself with those. These are going to be needed moving forward. Uh, the You will also need, along with our working with real estate agents forms that we are used to filling out for years now, we will need buyer's agency agreements to even show a buyer a home. So just keep that in mind. Please operate lawfully, correctly. Um, we need to stand out and education is key. We know that there's probably plenty of agents out there that are not getting proper training on this. So let's just be sure that our, our great group of people are doing the right things. But you can continue to find helpful Q and A's at facts.realtor and from Canopy at brokerrelations.canopyrealtors.com. There's all the answers you need there on those two websites. Uh, it's still very fluid and I think most of us expect future revisions. So just stay on the lookout for updates. Keep yourself abreast to any changes. Read notices that pop up on the MLS. Read the emails from NCR. Read the emails from NAR. And just keep on trucking along. Um, there will be more uh, webinars in August that Canopy is offering as well. Those are also listed at Canopy's website along with the FAQs. As far as buyer's agency agreements needing to be signed before showing homes, keep in mind open houses are excluded. Just those do not have to have any kind of signatures. I would of course always recommend having a sign-in sheet so that you keep a good log for your sellers and for your safety of who is entering the home. Moving along to local updates, uh, I've got some important dates and notices for you. Uh, remember that the Code of Ethics deadline is December 31st this year, so if you have not done that yet and are due, get that done before December 31st. The golf tournament, we have final figures in from the scholarship golf tournament back in May, and we are proud to announce that we will be or have given a check for $8,000 to the Gaston College College Now program for students in need of supplies, books, help towards tuition, different things. Um, that was all done thanks to our members, our affiliates, their friends and family who played in the tournament. Uh, it, it, we couldn't have done it without all of you guys. You should have been receiving emails that we now have openings for director positions for 2025. If you are interested at all in any of those, just reach out to someone on the board and we'd be more than happy to help you get the application in or answer any questions that you might have or talk about positions that you might be interested in, in filling. Uh, it has been a very helpful thing for me personally and professionally. I know I've said it before, but I recommend getting involved as little or as much as you can. And, and we do have some avenues to get you started with that if it's something you're interested in. Uh, dates to remember coming up one week from today, next Tuesday, August 6th, is our next post-summer luncheon, Lunch and Learn. Uh, Keith Poston from Hesed House will be there, and he actually has provided a list that you also should have received in your email of the Hesed House needs. 
we need, they need cleaning supplies of all kinds, laundry detergent, single ply toilet paper, paper towels, supplies to make lunches for working residents like meat, bread, and chips, snacks, coffee, creamer, sugar, and filters, 33 gallon and 13 gallon trash bags, and a variety of drinks. So please consider bringing one or more of those items to our luncheon Tuesday when Keith comes to speak to us about and give us some updates at Hassett House of Hope in downtown Lincolnton. For September, we have booked Christy Ferguson uh, from the Gaston County Association, and she's also a CE instructor. She's coming to, after being a month in um, throughout August, she's gonna come to our September meeting to talk about and go over our forms changes and, and the different practice changes that, we, that I've just already mentioned and that we've talked about forever now. And one final thing I have for you guys, so I'm not running too long like I have been known to do in the past, is we have our NCPAC update. Uh, our 2024 goal is $3,963. Of that, we have raised 2,964, so we just need basically $1,000 more. And for participation, we need 59 members and we have 44. So if you have not donated to NCPAC, it really is for a good cause. Um, we actually hope to have somebody speaking on that in more detail for those of you that don't fully understand it in November. Um, but all we ask, 15, $20, and to help meet our goal and so we can get that award at next year's January meeting. I think that's it for now. Um, if you have questions, if you have updates, if you have changed offices, changed your phone number, email, name, any of that and need to let us know, please do so. You can email Tiffany at lincolnncrealtors at gmail.com. You can even email me, cjlfloyd at gmail.com or call or text me at 704-860-9592. And I look forward to seeing as many of you as possible next Tuesday.